Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I am super excited because I finally got my hands on the Fox Alien VFD 1.5 air-cooled spindle. We're gonna go ahead and hook it up to the CL 4x4. This CL 4x4 deserves nothing less than a big spindle because it has such a big footprint. Now this thing is a plug and play and it shouldn't be any problem getting it installed, but we're also gonna be doing a couple tests. We're gonna do a comparison test with the 750 watt Bauer this is just a palm router. We're going to go ahead and do a decibel test with that compared to the VFD. But we're also going to go ahead and use this digital tachometer. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try to see if this actually is spinning at the RPMs that it says it's going to be. I got that from Amazon. I will put a link in the description to all of these products. So if you're interested, but uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and get it installed. Shouldn't be too big of a problem. So let's go ahead and get it. All right, so this is all that it comes with. You have your instructions, which I highly recommend uh, before you get started that you read the instructions from start to finish before you get this thing installed. It comes with cables that are gonna be long enough to run on the CL 4x4, so we should be able to, to get all the full motion. The spindle, which is right here, and let me tell you, this thing is chunky and has some weight to it. If you have a really small CNC or maybe even like the Masuder Pro or something along that lines, I probably not sure if I'm gonna recommend it. It is much heavier than, than the uh, Bauer router itself. I wish I had a scale to show you the difference in weight, but this thing is probably almost twice as heavy as that, and that's even with this base on it. So you would have to do that at your own risk because it, it is going to be top heavy for that gantry. It comes over here with the VFD controller. This is the PM controller, and it has all these functions here, run, stop functions. You know, this is your speed control and whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing hooked up. Let's go ahead and bring this forward. And it it should, let's see right here, fit perfectly in the stock Z-axis holder. So we should be good to go. All right, let's go ahead and get it. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove my 20 watt Fox Alien diode laser. I'm gonna transfer this back over to my Masuda 3S, the 8040 kit that I have. So I won't be using it for this anymore unless I really have a big project. So let's go ahead and get the 20 watt removed now. All right, now that I went ahead and got the laser removed, let's go ahead and install the mounting brackets for the VFD spindle. All right guys, so I went ahead and I put in the bracket, just mounted it on the lower of the Z axis. And I'm gonna show you a little trick that I do on how to mount the spindle. So what I'm gonna do is lower the Z axis almost as low as it will go. And then I'm going to drop in the spindle. And then when that comes really close to touching this surface right here, I know it should be pretty much low enough that uh, it will basically not hit that Z axis uh, when I'm zeroing in. But what I wanna do first is, I'm I'm gonna take this bit right about here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in. It doesn't have to be too tight, just enough that it doesn't come out of the spindle. And that way when I drop this down, I'm gonna pretty much just set it onto the spoil board. That way I know it's gonna be low enough. Let's go ahead and drop this down. And that should be pretty good. I could probably go a little bit lower. Let's go ahead and drop the spindle in right there and I should be good. I'm gonna have this Fox Alien facing out towards me. The reason why I did this, if I hit that limit switch at any point, I'm really not gonna drive my bit too far into this board and ruin it because you don't wanna do that. You wanna actually have a spoil board on all of your projects. So let's go ahead and tighten this up. Whenever you're tightening up your spindle, you only wanna do like a quarter of a turn. You wanna do the top one, then the bottom one, then the top one, then the bottom one. You don't wanna crank these super tight. You're gonna have the possibility of stripping. This is aluminum, so you don't wanna, it doesn't have to be too crazy. 
crazy tight. So top, bottom, top, bottom, and just keep doing that till you get to the point where you pretty much can't turn it anymore. So you wanna do about an eighth of a turn each time. So now let's go ahead and raise this up a little bit. That is exactly where I want it. There is my clearance right here, and I still have a little bit of room that if I needed to go up, I can actually still bring this up, or I can even take this bracket and move it up higher, and I can get the full Z-axis clearance space that I need. Let's go ahead and plug this thing in and get it turned on. Let's tighten this bit up. There we go. Good to go. I think this is gonna be a good time for me to read the instructions. A few moments later. Now that I've read the instructions, being the fact that I've used this as a laser, we need to go back over to easel and we're gonna go ahead and change a couple parameters that we need to do before we even plug this thing in. So let's go over here and I'm gonna show you exactly which ones you need to change and what you need to change them to. All right, so I'm in easel and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up over here to machine. You can see I have the CL 4x4 and we're gonna come over to machine inspector. And what you wanna do is there's two parameters that I need to change specifically. Here, you could see I have my 32 equals one, that's laser mode, and then that could potentially cause motor burnout because it's gonna go on and off, on and off. We want it to be continuously on. So what we need to do is change 32 equals one to 32 equals zero, and then we need to change $1.30 to 24,000 because right now it's set at 10,000 which that would not give me the full power of this spindle. So let's come up here, we're gonna go $1.30 32 equals zero and it's going to hit okay and let's go to dollar 30 equals 2400 and that's the rpms and we're okay so now if we come back here and hit dollar dollar we should see the changes sent to the machine so there it is right there so 32 equals zero and 30 equals 2400. You can do this on laser GBL, you can do this on light burn, you could do this on candle, any program that you use to control your CNC machine, you can do this on. But I'm using easel, so that's how I'm doing it. Now what we can do is let's go get this plugged in and turned on. So right here you have a four prong, and the four prong is for the spindle. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna plug the PWM into the laser port and then make sure it is on the laser. Uh, last thing I gotta do, this is definitely long enough where I can put this up high out of the way, so which is kinda cool. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Pretty much that's it, just plug it in and we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and power it on and see what happens. All right guys, now that we went ahead and we have the VFD plugged in, everything is good to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two tests. We're gonna set one at 24,000 RPMs and we're gonna set one at 3,000 RPMs. And then I have my little tachometer gun right here and we're gonna put a little piece of this reflective tape on the spindle and we're gonna go ahead and see how many RPMs this thing is actually running. Let me cut a little piece of this tape off and we're gonna put it right here on the tip of the spindle. Hopefully that's good enough. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on and see what happens. All right, you can see right over here, I am in easel. So we're gonna come over here to manual settings. I'm not worried about any of this information. What I wanna do is set my spindle speed. Uh, so right off the bat, let's set it straight up to 24,000 RPMs. We're gonna go ahead and manually start this and see how it works. All right, so we got the spindle on. takes three or four seconds to get to that fastest speed. Let's see what happens. Show you that right there. 23,936 RPMs. Let's go to decibels. 86 decibels. So I went ahead and I put it at 3,000 RPMs at a manual. So let's go ahead and hit carve and start this and see what happens. It's actually louder for me to talk than it is on at 3,000 RPMs. All right, and you can see right there, 27 
100 RPMs, it jumps. I think the battery's going dead, so it's not exactly getting that right reading. See, the battery just went off. All right, now that we went ahead and we have the spindle installed, the one thing I wanna do is I wanna test out to see how loud the Bauer router is because compared to this, these are substantially quieter. So I got it set to the highest setting. I have it plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn it on. We're gonna go ahead and set the decibels. So I'm talking at about 80, 75, 80 decibels right now, and that's about as loud as this thing got. Let's go ahead and turn this on. up to 105. Wow. Woo, big difference. All right, guys, that is it. That is installing the VFD spindle by Fox Alien. As of right now, it's 529 on their website, and I will put a link in the description down below if you're interested. Make sure you check out my website. Go down to www.thecrawlspacecraftsman.com and check out the other links in the description as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Hit that big black bell button. That way you get notified of all of my newest videos. But until the next video, make sure y'all do one thing. Stay awesome. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.